Hey everyone, in this three minute recipe video, I'm gonna show you how to paint green gems and lenses. So I've got these six paints. One of them is completely dry, so we're gonna chuck that in the bin, and then we're going to start putting the others onto our wet palette. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on the wet palette first, and this is gonna to help to speed up the process of actually painting in a bin. I've got war flesh, moot green, ice yellow, and white, and I've also got black. You want to paint the lens black to begin with. Uh, mine's already black, so no point in me putting it on the palette here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making some intermediate mixes between the colors. You don't have to be super precise with ratios, but just steps in between each color to help to make the jumps a little bit smoother. So I've got two intermediate colors between war flesh and moot green, and two between moot green and ice yellow. Doing the intermediate colors is going to help to avoid loads of wet blending or glazing. So I've got this practice panel from Tarot Model Maker, and I'm going to be working on one of these gems. The basic principle here is that we're going to pick a direction that the light is coming from. So I've chosen the top left, and we're going to put an over in that section of the gem and in the opposite section so the bottom right we're going to put a thin swoosh after we're done with that we're going to work through these colors that we've put on the wet palette going from dark to light and we're going to paint within the areas from the previous step whilst trying to leave some of the previous layer showing around the outside So we're going to be painting in a progressively smaller and smaller area with each new paint. As we work through the colors, the contrast goes up and when we finally get to the white, we should have a nice effect that really looks like a shiny gem. As a bonus way to sell this effect, you can use a metallic and just paint the rim of whatever the gem is embedded in. If you only paint the areas of the rim where we've been painting our colors, then this is gonna really sell that directional lighting feel. You can apply this technique to circular lenses too, but just make the oval a circle instead. I hope you enjoyed the video everyone. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what three minute recipe you'd like to see next. Thanks so much everyone. See you next time, bye.